Okay, this is my tutorial on um, what you need as well as a pinnacle dazzle to record your TV. These are a special offer on Amazon when I got mine. It was on £21, so dazzle white. It's just as good as all the other dazzles. It just doesn't come with pinnacle studio. The CD it comes with is a capturing CD which you will need to install before you insert this into your computer. Okay, right. You got the dazzle with the USB um, and once you get that you'll also need to get these. Now these are these are like one pound or something. No, they wait, they're about 20p each, these splitters. One male and two female. Yeah. So you need to get three of them and double sided AV cable mine is five meters but you can get it as long as you want just make sure it can fit into your um, dazzle and your dazzle's got to be near a computer obviously so if you have a laptop that's fine if you don't make sure you get it you know about five meters to ten meters like I do okay and the last thing is your this is the PS3 this is my PS3's cable you don't need to buy an extra one this is just the cable I took out my PS3 there just show you how to plug it all in so this would be in the back of your PS3 let's pretend that is and you'd if I get these right I need them and uh, this black one this black one here that's white it's actually meant to be the white lead it's the same lead as that that's the same lead as it so you get your double sided cable and your PS3 cable and your three splitters and you attach one, one splitter and you put all the reds you put the reds in like that all the reds go in like that into one into the into another splitter we have all the yellows from the double sized AV cable and the PS3 it's a bit dodgy that, that splitter I got but it's okay um, and they we have all that all the whites just here and the black one is all white just that the cable's black for some reason yes, it should look something like that depends what cable you get that will be white and white, but on my it's white and black. It'll be, it can be white, but when I ordered it, the picture said it was white, but it was black. So it doesn't really matter. I tend to keep the wires, you know. So the PS3 wire is at one end, and the double-sided cable is at the other, um, just for keep it tidy. So yeah, from one end of that, you have the PS3 and the junction splitters. Then the other side of the USB. Now. On the other side of this USB goes the dazzle. So it's not USB, it's um A V lead, double sided A V lead. Yeah. So yeah, we, we plug in the white lead, the red lead, the yellow lead the red lead and the white lead I'm not colour blind it's black but I'll call it white um, okay and then this this USB goes into your laptop okay so once you've got all that I'm gonna just yeah, it's got a knot in it I'm just gonna drag this. You need to sort your wires out a bit. So separate these from there, take your splitters from both the wires. Uh, take them on the back of your TV. You have a SCART card. Everybody has these little SCART things. They come with the PS3. If you don't have one of these, 
then either on the side of your TV or underneath your TV, just there, you will have um, one of these things there. So, so the same thing. I'm going to use a scarf for this. Okay, so you basically just plug your splitters into the scarf card. Make sure all the colours match up. Yellow into yellow. White into white. And red into red. Okay, so you make sure they're all secure. Press them down a bit. And you insert your card. Scar card. Um that's my that's my um Wii, Nintendo Wii that one there but you can do the same thing for any console you just put the splitters in there instead but this is my PS3 okay right here's the PS3 in now that goes oh you can't see it but this goes the PS3 and goes goes in the back of my PS3 so hold on Okay, I fitted it in the back, and Dazzle should have a green light on, and put your 5 meter cable out of the way somewhere. My Dazzle always goes behind the TV, or I unplug it, and I stick it somewhere. Um, the splitters, they split the connection, so your screen might be a bit less, you know, you might turn the brightness up, and it might, it drains half the power to the Daz to the TV and half the power to the TV. Okay, um, now I'm just gonna show you the software you get with it. I'm rubbish putting my password in. Uh, okay, just got my Shino Numa gameplay using the cam. If you want to have a look at that, um, it's a bit fuzzy today because there's I think there's something wrong with the uh, nothing wrong with the splitters, but you know I just um, it gets a bit fuzzy when the connection's not very good to the internet. Uh, so obviously it'll be even worse through a camera. You can see my reflection in this because it's the camera that's doing it, but my reflection isn't in the actual thing. So you see. How it works, fine. Okay. Um, when you install the CD DVD recorder, yeah, just find it like that. Be on your desktop if you ask it to request create a shortcut. Just let it load up. Okay, I know you can't see the screen, but the one my mouse is over now. You make sure it's set the capture source to Dazzle DVC. 100 is mine, but yours might be different. Make sure it's saving it to the hard disk folder, DVD burner to hard disk. You need to create a new file for every one you do. So I've made a file Dazzle, and one, there's one file, there's another video, and there's another video. So you need to make different files for every video. Um, chapter menus. You don't you don't want a chapter menu. They're just for if you make if you copy in a video. Um, time, quality, best. I always do for ten minutes. And you press start. So once you finish recording, um, once you finish recording, this is very important that you do this. Um, you put the clip on Windows Media Player. So like I've done, just there. So you basically do that, and the one at the bottom is, al is always the one you want, because it has the most kilobytes, that's the actual clip, the one with the most kilobytes. So you copy that clip onto there, so just say I've copied it. We can just say I've copied it, because, um, right, I'll keep that up because I've still got videos to do. Um, so when it's on there, you obviously drag it down to there. And as you can see, 
it plays. It won't play. It will show as a corrupt file on um, if you just click play. You need to put it on Windows Movie, Windows Movie Maker.